I don't mean to draw lines here, right? I don't want to divide the Brick Soul Brian community. I don't, I don't want to do this. It has to be done. And that's just the introduction, okay? This is a long haul, but a definitive list of all the Super Mario games I've ever played. So maybe your list differs from mine. Maybe you want to show a friend and see what their list is like. Hopefully you enjoy this video and see all the rankings of all these games. It gets spicy very quickly, so enjoy. So there's all these Mario games. A lot of them I haven't played, but a lot of them I have played. I like to start these with a obvious high and an obvious low to assess where the bars are at and take it from there. I'm only ranking the games that I have played and not judging books based off their covers by ranking the games I haven't played high or low. The only book you can judge by the cover is Pro Gamer's Guide to Healthy Habits, available to pre-order on Amazon Prime Time right now, baby. So we're gonna start with an obvious high. You already know where this is gonna go. You see there's many Mario games as part of the spin-off franchises, etc. We're gonna start with the high note here. High note here in the A category, Absol absolutely a, a, a necessity. <laughs> Paper Mario on the Thousand Year Door goes at number one. It embodies exactly the kind of vibe that I like in video games. The environments, the characters, the storytelling, the art style, the especially the humor and the way that you have the partners follow you all along the way. This is one of the, my is my favorite game of all time. As said in the back of the book, and it still holds up today. So we went really high and now we're gonna go really low. It's gonna be Mario Tennis right here. Mario Tennis Ultra Smash, the most boring of any of the Mario Tennis games. So we're gonna leave that right there. This is where we're starting. Thousand Year Door, Ultra Smash. Any complaints? Don't care. So a lot, of, one of the first series I ever did on the prime time was Super Mario Run. First one I ever did. Now for Mario's first entry into the mobile 4A, I'm gonna rank it as a C, right in the middle. So we have high, mid, low, all right? We got all that right there. A classic, you know, because we're spooky right now, let's go with Luigi's Mansion. Luigi's Mansion, the entire franchise is gonna get tossed up here, including the arcade version, which I have played. If you haven't played it, it is very nice. Luigi's Mansion 1 launch title on the Nintendo GameCube. It has to be at a B. The reason I'm putting it at a B, it is a little bit short. Doesn't take full advantage of what the GameCube has to offer since it is a launch title. It's a launch title, okay? Dark Moon gets to be a D. It loses a little bit of that charm for it being the sequel to Luigi's Mansion after waiting 10 years to come out. And it didn't have the same open floor plan as Luigi's Mansion 1. The ghosts changed the art style. They lost a little bit of their charm as well. Now, Luigi's Mansion 3. Does anyone want to guess where Luigi's Mansion 3 is going to rank at? F rank? S rank. <laughs> One of the best games on Nintendo Switch. The animations, the plot, the art style, character, the Halloween vibes that are oozing out of this game. This game released on Halloween 2019, okay? There's no better day for Luigi's Mansion 3 to come out or to be celebrated. It is one of those games that is a solid story, massive replayability, and I love it. Definitely one of my favorite games of all time. Absolutely has to be an S territory. We'll start with some of the older ones. Super Mario Brother 2, it is a, uh, a reskin of Doki Doki Panic. So I'm not actually as big on this one, and the gameplay is different from literally every other Mario game that's ever existed. I'm gonna leave it at there. Super Mario Bros. I'm gonna put it at an A ranking. It teaches you how to play the game without having a tutorial, which absolutely makes, has to have it at A. It is not one of my favorite Mario games of all time. Obviously, I'm, I'm bad at 2D Mario games, admittedly, especially the older ones. Also in A rank, Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels. If you want a more challenging 2D Mario experience based off of Mario Bros. 1, that's the one to go after. Mario Bros. 3, I'm also going to put an A. I don't have the affinity for uh, Mario Brothers 3 like I do with some of the other 2D Mario games. What I will say, Super Mario World is an S tier game. Has way more charm in my opinion than Super Mario Brothers 3. The world that was created around that game is awesome. I think the mechanics hold up the best out of any of the classic 2D Mario games. It introduces Yoshi and it's on the SNES. 
I think it beats out any of the other Mario games, obviously, besides number one or super mario bros one uh super mario all-stars i'm gonna put in a as well it is a a remaster uh that's it for the classics ones for right now uh mario party ds is a big old stinker massive stinker i got that game as a kid and i remember being so utterly disappointed by how disjointed the gameplay was i wasn't a big fan of that at all uh 10 i also have not played i'm gonna that's a big stinker i don't need to play that game to know it's a big stinker super mario party very whelming gonna put it at a d introducing mario party onto the switch you want to land with a bang right super mario party was still coming off of that time of like oh we're mario party 9 and 10 we're gonna be cheeky with how we play the boards and if there were mario party superstars on this list it would actually go in like b territory i really like mario party superstars yoshi's island a it, it is a totally different gameplay style compared to the other mario 2d games introduces baby mario all sorts of characters that resonate throughout the series and the bosses in this game are excellent you have mario golf toadstool tour i remember this being very fun multiplayer as a kid i'm gonna put it at b mario power tennis on the gamecube is i remember having very difficult times with this game it's not an easy game by any means so i'm gonna put it at b all these gamecube games are current at b now we're getting into the new series a new super mario bros series now, New Super Mario Bros. was a relaunching of the 2D games. I can put it as C. Mario Tennis Aces was one of those kind of games for me that I remember playing and thinking, when is this going to be over? I'm going to put it at a D. You children will learn today. Dance Dance Revolution Mario Mix. You're telling me Bowser's break dancing on the Nintendo GameCube? Yes, indeed. Goated. Goated. Abs. Nintendo doesn't have the courage to release a game as bold as this ever again. They'll never do it. They're cowards. You get to dance around the Mushroom Kingdom as Mario and the homies. Mario Baseball. We got so many obscure characters in this one i remember having fond memories of this as a kid uh this is one of the series that uh my friends and i would play in my uh my, the, the basement if i figure out what what the the counter for like the 99 home runs whatever if that didn't happen i wouldn't maybe be here right now we're gonna put that at an a all right that has to go in an a <laughs> mario super mario strikers is one of those games that has so much grit there's an animation that exists in this game i'm not going to demonstrate it here today i'm a family-friendly content creator there's a animation that waluigi does in this game that nintendo would never have the courage to do for the rest of their lives never have the courage cowardly i don't make the rules chat I don't make the rules. Mario Strikers Charge is difficult, man. This game is a, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. On Nintendo Wii, I'm going to leave that as a, as a B. New Super Mario Brothers Wii. I actually have quite an affinity for. That was one of those games that you could pop on with uh, the, the family and play with each of the characters. I think that's one of the more solid uh, Mario Bros. New Super Mario Bros. Mario Kart Tour. I want to, I want to give it a D ranking. I disdain what this game is for the loot boxing system and also the the like the grinding you have in any any of these games any of these games oh you know here's here's golden diddy kong okay put all that energy now they're doing it but previously it was like put all that energy in a new, new mario kart game super mario bros u and luigi u let's pretend that is new Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. It's an A. All of those levels, the level of polish with them, all combined into one package, I think is excellent and is the best of the new Super Mario Bros. series, which is why it's ended. Super Mario Maker, see, here's the thing. This is one of those situations just like Animal Crossing. They take all the things from the first game, double down on it, and do it better in the second one. So for that reason, I have played Super Mario Maker. I'm going to put it at D. I'm sorry, C. And then Mario Maker 2 goes in A. 
the way that this game empowers you to make your own custom Mario games, it unleashes that creativity and gives you enough flexibility to really flesh out your own levels. You can make your own world and connect all these different levels together, right? Super Mario 64, it's gotta be an S. Is there any debate here? Every other 3D platformer would not be the same as it is today. Super Mario Sunshine. I love the environment, the vibe, the, the gameplay of Mario Sunshine. I think it is aged a little bit too poorly. When you go into any of the levels, you can sit there for hours and feel like you're in a tropical environment. And you can also see, albeit now poorly, in the background, you can see Pinna Park and Rico Harbor and Delfino Plaza. Like you feel like it is one of the only Mario games where you feel part of a world that you can see and experience from level to level to level but I love Super Mario Sunshine. The biggest complaint, those blue coin missions in any other Mario game would put it in F. The most ridiculous filler content garbage that has ever existed in any Mario game. Like you went from, you went from Mario 64 that justifiably had 120 stars. Now Mario Sunshine, 40 of your shine sprites are blue coins. How dumb is that? The first 3D Mario game on the GameCube really truly fill a third of it with blue coins. So for that reason, I'm tempted to put it in A. Because of those controls, the blue coins do not give me enjoyment. I don't feel like I'm experiencing a better part of the game by having the blue coins in the game. You take the blue coins out and then you have three or four extra levels, which is obviously a lot of dev time, blah, 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 blah. But it'd be, a, it'd be a better game for it. Super Mario Galaxy, it's an S rank. Absolutely, no doubt. No doubt. No doubt. The orchestral soundtrack. When you have a live orchestra, absolutely, it's a necessity. You have to. You have to. And, and uh, you know, I hate to be that guy. S rank for Mario Galaxy 2 as well. The fact that, like, like you go from Mario Sunshine to Mario Galaxy, like, like how do you take, how do you take such a wonderful franchise like Mario, you know, you, you go, you have all this, you go anti-gravity, you go into space and it allows you to do so much more with the gameplay, the bosses, the bosses are awesome in this game. The music is phenomenal, made with so much love and care and that, that introduced me into listening to the video game soundtracks. It went from being chip tune, synthesized, whatever, and now here you have this game with the whimsy of Mario combined with an orchestra. Like, I guarantee you, there's so many kids who played this game that are like, yes, I want to be a composer because of how beautiful this game sounds. I guarantee you that happened. And it, like, it, it's just genuinely good music. I love the Comet Observatory of Galaxy 1. Galaxy 2, hot take, I hate that Mario head. I hate that. I hate it so much because you go from having Mario 64, your, your, your area to explore, Peach's Castle. Then you have Delfino Plaza, then you have the Comet Observatory, then you have Mario Galaxy 2 with just the head, it's super small to explore. And then also the levels are by selection on a map as if it were a 2D Mario game. I don't want this. I don't want this. I want, I want like it was in, in Mario 64, in Sunshine, you visit the different areas and go over there and whatever. Hot take. Super Mario 3D Land, that's an A. It plays into the strength of the Nintendo 3DS by having the slider, so you could see the levels of 3D. The levels were bite size, so you played a lot of them very quickly, and then once you're done with the game, you have way more levels to even play afterward. I thoroughly enjoyed this game, and I think it's one of the most underrated 2.5D slash 3D Mario games that's ever come out. Uh, Octogirl110 uh, says, can you rank Color Splash before I go? Absolutely. There are so many people that tell me, Brian, when are you going to finish Paper Mario Color Splash? Brian, when are you going to finish Paper Mario Color Splash? Brian, Mr. O'Brien, Mr. Bricks O'Brien, Mr. Brian, 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 when are you going to finish Paper Mario Color Splash? You know when I'm going to finish Paper Mario Color Splash? You know what I'm gonna finish it? Never. Because it's a steaming hot pile of garbage game! It's garbaggio, toss it into the can! It's awful, it's an awful game that is lacking in so much character, 
in in charisma in, in the writing in the level design and the implementation it's so lazy it's so lazy with its level design that they copy and pasted a level and reversed it because they didn't have the amount of care and consideration to put anything else into it on the nintendo wii u this is one of the last nintendo wii u games to come out before the nintendo switch did and they knew full well that this game is going to sit in the five dollar bin at gamestop because they have Brian. this mega hit console Stop coming it. down the line that we don't have Brian. to put any more effort Stop into it. this thing. We're gonna have Paper Mario Color Splash. It's gonna sit on this console Brian. and die forever. Stop and it. there's gonna be nothing that comes out of it ever again. Brian. It is not a Stop good it. game. It's not a good game. I love Paper Mario. I love this franchise. I love the characters that are in it. I don't like this game. Color Splash is S rank. Don't let your nostalgia for Brick Soul ah. Brian videos. Don't let it don't let it misguide you, little Declan's, Donald's, Tabitha's, and Tammy's out there. Don't let it misguide you. This is a bad game, and you shouldn't be playing Brian, it. Go play. Stop Paper, it. Or, we're gonna rank Origami King while we're here. Origami King, you're not gonna like this one, kids. It's going in A. I loved Origami King. And even, even though I messed up six hours of my recording when doing that game, the day it came out. I had no trouble replaying it all the way all over again because that's how much I enjoyed that game. And that's how much I, I didn't even finish Paper Mario Color Splash and I'm a diehard Paper Mario fan. Absolutely not. There is nothing you can tell, nothing you can tell me. I'm sorry. The rotation mechanics were all right in Origami King, but the writing, the music, the worlds, the, the characters, even if they were generic, Wonderful. Make it S rank or I leave Patreon. Bye. I don't listen, Mike. I don't change my opinions based on money. Okay. If I did that, I'd be I'd be Shill O'Brien. Absolutely not. Okay. This this game this game absolutely deserves a F ranking. Origami King. Easy A. Easy. You tell me you play that level with Bobby and you're not feeling something right here. And then when you get to there's a point in Paper Mario Color Splash. What part it was it? where I had to go and backtrack through several levels because there was no indication the game gave me that I needed this key item that I accidentally used somewhere else in the game. This game literally sabotages you because you accidentally did the wrong thing and they do nothing to keep you in line with the plot. Nothing. Color Splash was filler. And you know, it's all the pro gamers in the chat that are like, yup, Brian, you're right. I don't mean to draw lines. I don't mean to draw lines here, right? I don't want to divide the Brick Soul Brian community. I don't, I don't want to do this. It has to be done. Brian, you're wrong? No, I'm right. Oh, no, 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 you. No, 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 no. You're, no, one's, no one in this chat's going to tell me I'm wrong right now. No one in this chat's going to tell me I'm wrong. Nobody's going to tell me I'm wrong. I'm right. I'll die on, I, I don't even need to die. On, I'm going to stand, I'm going to stand valiantly on the hill. All right, I am right. Absolutely right. Are you kidding me? in every capacity. Now the original Paper Mario, that's an A. Easy A, easy A. This did age a little bit poorly with its graphics and the, the way the colors are portrayed on the N64 and especially on the online and whatnot. Uh, I I think Paper Mario Thousand Year Door does everything that Paper Mario does better. So that's why it's gonna stay an A. You already know how I feel about Mario Rabbit's Kingdom Battle. I enjoyed every second of playing this game when it first came out and I can't wait to play the next one. Mario XCOM hype for the sequel, absolutely. If you haven't played this game, get Sparks of Hope when the new one comes out. And this game is actually like 15 bucks. So Super Mario Kart, I actually don't like this game. I'm gonna give it a C because this is also another game that feels very limited by the hardware that it's on. That angle that you're viewing the track on is garbage. Mario Kart DS, I'm gonna put it as a C as well. It feels limited by the hardware. Same thing for seven. It just, like, there's no reason to have a Mario Kart game on mobile. Um, now we're getting down to it with these. So obviously Mario Kart 8 Deluxe would be in an S if it were here. We're gonna pretend Mario Kart 8 is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, okay? We're gonna pretend it's Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. It has to be in an S. It is the definitive Mario Kart experience to ever be out there. Chock full of characters, courses, orchestral music. Mario Kart Wii, I'm putting at an A. This was the best console Mario Kart experience to ever be out there. Uh, at the time, at least, it, it was the very first one with the online connectivity and the vibes of this. Now, it doesn't rank as highly as for 
the uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe because it just hasn't stood the test of time, obviously, nearly as much, and the online is now disconnected. Mario Kart Double Dash, here's a hot take opinion, chat. This game controls horribly, so I'm going to rank it as a B. I don't like how these controls have held up, especially compared to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I don't know if it's because of the weight distribution of some of the characters that I end up using that are not as fun. Maybe if I do a playthrough on it and retry to get back into it, I'll have better luck, but I am not as much of a fan of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I also feel like the Mario Kart franchise is one of those that every game outdoes the game before it, where I believe now with the booster course, we're going to get all the courses that are the best of the best from Double Dash and have it be in this game. The Mario Party games are interesting. I'm going to I'm gonna rank the ones that I have played. So unfortunately, I haven't played four or five. So I'm going to leave the, and seven. Four, five, seven, I have not played. So I only played a one, two, three, uh, six and eight. Uh, Mario Party 1, 2, and 3, I'm going to rank as a B. The B ranking because Mario Party kind of outdoes itself, at least with these three here. They kind of feel like they outrank themselves. Putting them in the same category, like 1, 2, and 3, you could bundle into one game and it'd be an epic game and that would constitute it being an A, but all of them on their own right here. Uh, Mario Party 8, I feel like is a solid Nintendo Wii experience. I'm going to put that at an A. And then my Mario Party was Mario Party 6 on the Nintendo GameCube. Day and Night Cycle, which is very cool. The microphone that had its own interactive bits, obviously not required, but uh, whatever. Uh, Mario Party 6 is my favorite Mario Party and thus deserves to be at an S ranking. One of these has to be at an S, man. These games can be, you can do a 50 turn game and the day and night cycle keeps it fresh. The mini games are all uh, essential to the, the, the fun that you have in Mario Party, right? None of these games are like are misses, you know? So I love Mario Party 6. That's my Mario Party. I'm a big fan of that one. Looking at this list, the rest of these games I haven't played. Uh, is there any game on this list that y'all can see that I haven't, that I have played that potentially I could rank? If you could assume where Mario Odyssey would go, can you take a guess where you think Mario Odyssey would go on the list? The levels are so geniusly designed. The music is so well done. The replayability is there. The depth of the game is there. You may say, but the moons are all filler, but that's part of the experience is taking the levels that you know so well, turning them on their head, adding little Easter eggs into the game and making each one of them impactful, making you think when it comes to certain moons in the game that you never would have thought about in other Mario games. And it gives you hints all along the way. It also, also is a masterclass in game design in its own right. The way that all the worlds are connected, the characters are so original and have different cultures and art styles all within the same game. And that is all capped off for the older fans now like myself going to the Mushroom Kingdom world getting that first power star power star not power moon power star and seeing that be a thing hearing that chime i remember the moment when the game came out when i was staying i stayed up all night long and played through the entire game myself before i even recorded it on camera i played the entire game all the way through from midnight until 7 a.m and i remember the moment i sat in that chair and then a power star popped up in the Mushroom Kingdom instead of a moon. And I thought, this is genius. And then when I went into the Toad Shop and I saw the Mario 64 outfit, I was taken away by how magical that moment was. And that is only a game that Mario Odyssey could ever do for me. And it is my favorite 3D Mario game, beating out childhood classics like 64 Sunshine Galaxy 1 and 2. It is my favorite 3D Mario game. And if I had to put it anywhere with these top games right here, it would be bam, 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 right here. That would be my top, my top ones up here. S rank in order. Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, Odyssey, Galaxy, Luigi's Mansion 3, 8 Deluxe, Mario Party 6, 64, Galaxy 2, and Mario World. That's the ranking, everybody. That's the ranking. That is a definitive list. And remember, kids, 
Paper Mario Color Splash is a bad game. Sorry, not sorry.